Yes, indeed. Looking at that clock and not this clock. And there. Thanks, Kat, for counting me in. It's nine o'clock. It's Tuesday, the 25th of June. And you, my friends, you're watching Vapor Scene. It is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Yes, it is Vapor Scene. It's Tuesday. I've got the purple shirt on, so it must be Tuesday. Yes, <laughs> we have got quite a lot to get through in my half hour this week. Uh, we're going to look at both the Vision Victory BBC tank. I think it should say BCC tank, personally. Uh, we're going to look at that in a second. Uh, and then in the second half, we're going to be looking at the Camry K200 which uh, Dave looked at very briefly on the Hazel last Thursday. And the plan is that Dave had a quick look. We both got them on the same day. Mine came in the morning, his came in the afternoon. So uh, we decided, Dave would just do a little look. I'll do a bigger look. And then on Thursday, Dave's going to get a scope on it uh, and scope it out and look at the different power settings and see if it actually does what it says it does. So more on the Camry K200 in part two. But we're going to go straight into looking at the uh, Vision BBC tank that I got from Safer Seeds last week. And here is the VT. It's the Victory BBC tank. And I got this from Daz at Safer Six. It was £12 um, plus postage. Um, and it is a bottom coil clearomizer and it holds five mils of your favorite e-liquid um, so let's open a packet and see what we get and here we are inside the box you have a 10 mil bottle for your juice with a needle cap uh, and you can just take that off and put it on another size bottle the same um, rather than just put your juice in there this will fit on most uh, most juice bottles you then get two spare atomizer heads and little cellophane baggies and finally the BCC itself so let's take that out and have a look it's fairly large let's just zoom in for you so you can see a little bit closer there you go and it's graduated from one mil all the way up to five mils now I have to say it's plastic so this will crack if you use juices that are known to crack polycarbonate tanks. And I know Daz has put quite a list, which is not exhaustive, um, but he has put a list up on his website um, on this product page. Um, because obviously if you use one that will crack polycarbonate, uh, it won't last very long. So we'll just take this uh, silicone bung off the top. And there we have the mouthpiece it's uh, on there permanently you can't change it and put a different one on but it's not too big we've got the bottom section here and if we unscrew this section you can see that is where the atomizer head goes and they just screw in like that just like the pro tank that I showed you last time. So we'll put that back on. Because it's a bottom coiled unit, uh, we fill from the bottom and not from the top. So we'll put some juice in and I have some here. Let me put this down. I have some juice here that I got from Daz at the same time. Uh, and it is a juicy peach, 18 milligram. It's a PG VG mix. I've tried some already. 
<laughs> just to, to make sure because you don't want to fill this all the way up with five mils with a juice you don't like that would not be good um, but we're only going to fill it half full today so these bottles are quite good because they come already with a needle tip which will make it very easy to fill this so put it into the side uh, and squeeze away basically there we go and I have filled that two three mils with this juicy peach so what I would just like to show you is how it fits on different devices because I do believe it won't fit on everything. So here is the Evic. With the top collar on, and this is the Cyan Mod tube and top collar, um, you don't get a connection. So you can't use it on the Evic with the top collar on. You take the collar off and it will thread all the way and you'll get a connection and it's given me uh, 2.3 so that works on the EVIC um, but only with the top off the SVD also has that top collar but we'll see if it fits on there no it doesn't work on the SVD with the top collar on take the collar off and it's telling me it's got a uh, resistance of 2.1 you can see there producing vapor so those are the uh, SVD and EVIC mods it will of course fit on your ego battery without a problem and you can hear it firing away there And of course, MVP, because I haven't got the collar on this at the moment. And you can hear it again there. So, let's see how it vapes back in the studio. And we'll give it a good going over. It's back to me. Yes, it's back to me. Uh, and I've been using it on the MVP um, since I did that bit of VT um, quite nicely. And what I also did was I've got the Juicy Peach, which is very nice, by the way. Uh, just looking in chat there as that was playing through. Um, I've got the Juicy Peach in the Pro Tank. It tastes exactly the same. So there's no kind of taste differences um, between the two. And obviously they're both bottom coil as well. Um, the Pro Tank and the... Uh, victory revision victory difference is this holds twice as much juice um no issues with gurgling you know the only niggle is the fact that it doesn't fit on those other mods um, without using one of these uh, which is a 510 to 510 if you use one of those not a problem um so a couple of quid you know i've had that one for a, quite a while and um, so that does uh, that does solve that little problem um but but the actual um device itself very good, very good. Um, and you know, I do like my tanks and my clear misers. And I did have uh, this one a while ago, if you remember. Let me just put it into closely up, or device cam, I've called it today. I had this one uh, before, which I got um, from China, which was a five mil one. Um, that gave me all sorts of gurgling issues and problems, hence it's full of juice and I've not used it. I should bung it really, um, but 
I was going to take it apart and see what I could do with it. But as it goes, yeah, um, not a bad little device. Shame it's not Parex, and it'd be nice if someone could come out with something this kind of size, that kind of shape, uh, with Pyrex, but, you know, it's difficult to do, isn't it? And expensive to do. Lots of tooling, I would imagine. Um, so there you go. That was the uh, Vision Victory BBC, but I think it should say BCC. Um, that I got from Safer Six. 12 quid of your hard-earned uh, plus postage. Job done. Now then, I've shown you that bit. Let's look at this week's Show Us Yours gallery. And now it's time for Show Us Yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Show us yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. And that was this week's Show Us Yours Gallery. Did you see your picture? Uh, and I'm looking at chat there. <laughs> There's only a couple with birds in. Uh, yes, there are. Uh, but who is this week's winner? This week's winner is, looking for the right one, here we go. It is Craig Drummond, who sent a couple of pics in there. Um, wouldn't that be good if that was an e-juice dispenser and you could just go up to one and press a button and fill up your device. That would be so cool. Anyway, well done, Craig. I'll be in contact after the show and send you the email which tells you how you get your juice. And last week's winner, as you know, was Michael Jackson. And he sent this picture in um, with his bottle of juice that he got from Flavor Art UK after winning last week. And, and I do believe it was a marzipan one. And that sounds really nice. So, if you would like to go into the draw, send me an email, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. Get it to me by midday on Tuesday, and you'll get into that week's draw, and you could be winning next week. Hmm. So, 
There we go. We're going to go into the ads now, and when we come back, we're going to be looking at the Camry K200. See you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Now it's back to Vaporscene on Vaportrails TV. Vaporscene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. And welcome back to part two. So, in a second, we're going to look at the, uh, the Camry K200. But first, um, tomorrow, I'm going to be heading off up to Scotland. And then on the way back, I am going to make a little stop. And it's on Saturday. I wonder what that could be. Yes, this Saturday, it is upon us. <laughs> and I'm going to leave Glasgow in the morning and I shall be in South Shields somewhere around 12ish, I would think, as will lots of other people as well. So if you haven't decided you're going to come yet, why don't you just get in your car and drive up and have a laugh? Uh, there's loads of space and it's going to be immense, I should think. So now then, back to device cam. 
And on Thursday's Hazo, Dave had a look, and his was a gold colour. Mine's the black one. Here it is, in more detail. This is what you get when you get sent it, uh, in a little carry case with a belt clip. Um, whether or not you're going to actually clip this to your belt and take it anywhere, who knows. However, it might be good to keep bits and pieces in um, when you go on holiday. So, there you go. So I'll open it up. And I've been using this already, so it's going to be unwrapped. Uh, so you get, let me just take this out of the way. A couple of 18650 batteries with the Camry brand on them uh, and Dave will be looking at these in more detail on Thursday's show. You get a charger for these batteries. Now I'm of the same opinion as Dave, the only thing I'm going to do with that is bin it. I'm not going to use it, it's too flimsy, um, it for me doesn't look safe so I'm not going to be using this, I'm going to be using my tried and tested charger that I use uh, and that will be going in the bin. You also get the dual coil cartomizer tank uh, which Dave showed you uh, and I've not used this yet but I might well do by the time you see this video. Uh, it comes with a little drip tip which you can take out, standard 510 connection uh, and on the top here is a little knurled screw and you can unscrew that and that allows you to fill with a, a needle tip or a syringe so you can fill it entirely up instead of having to push the cartomizer down some and do it that way so that's rather handy. Uh, and the other knurled screw that you get on the bottom that locks the cartomizer in place so if you unscrew it slightly that will allow you to then to change your carto and then again when you've pushed it back in to the required depth just tighten that up so that's quite good I quite like that and then of course you get the unit itself and you can see this is the black version Dave's was the gold version and it also comes in a silver version and you can see the pictures of those going through as I speak uh, and you get a strange set of instructions <laughs> they're not the best instructions in the world I have to say um, but if you read them you can kind of get the gist um, kind of get the gist and uh, it gives you reasonable amounts of Changlish instructions because <laughs> the uh, translation is never all that cracking. Now Dave and myself did get this from Fast Tech which was a company that we've been talked about on Dave's Tackle Box a few weeks ago um, and it really is an exceptionally cheap site I have to say. Um, works out at $47 which is about £28 and that's delivered. Um, I have seen this at another site in the UK uh, for £32, I think it is. Um, it's either £31 or £32. £32, um, but they have not in stock. If you do Google for that, for the Camry 200, K200, uh, you'll see um, who is stocking them. So, let's put one of these here batteries in, which I have charged, one of these 18650 batteries. Uh, which I've charged already. We'll put it in and I'll show you the various features of this unit. Now as you can see there are two vent holes on the back of this unit. There's also two vent holes on the front of this unit. The bottom vent hole is blocked by the battery. The top one um, gives you a reasonable amount of venting. I'll just zoom up a little bit closer. There you go. You can see the top hole is uh, reasonably clear. The bottom hole, the battery is behind it on the front and the back. And there's no venting on the bottom. 
but should you have an issue I am sure that the gases would vent quite nicely from the four holes just not as much from the bottom too. Uh, it is five click on five click off and you will get a zero and that is going to be your puff count and that will go up as you go on. You'll see here a battery indication so that is telling me that the battery is fully charged. Some of the features are this top button here so it's the top one as you're looking at it where my thumb is you press that and you can change the color of your screen and if you look at the graphic that I've just put up you'll see the different colors you can get and it'll just cycle through until you get the color of your choice and I've been using green for I am Mark Green <laughs> you can use variable voltage or variable wattage variable power and this is accessed from the bottom two buttons now weirdly to go up you use the left hand button and to go down you use the right hand button you'd think it'd be the other way around really and it goes as Dave showed on Thursday um, from 3 volts to 6 volts pretty much a standard uh, voltage power is accessed using the button opposite to the one that you change the color with which is this one and you press that and it will take you through up to 15 and then it'll just cycle back round. You get the general idea. The other thing it will do is if you press the fire button three times in quick succession, it will give you the ohms, the resistance of the device that you have on it. So let us put a device on and I'll tell you what it is. And there we have the pro tank that I was talking about last week. So if we give this three clicks, it will tell us that that has got a resistance of two ohms. Pretty reasonable. So five clicks off and conversely five clicks on. Three clicks of the fire button will tell you what the resistance is. This top button will cycle through the screen colors. This top button cycles through the power settings. There's no plus or minus, you just keep going and scanning through until you get the one you want. However, should you wish to use voltage, it's these two buttons for plus and minus. So that is pretty much the controls. What you will see on the top, if I just take the pro tank off, is although there is quite a deep juice well there and it is 510 threaded, it's not ego threaded. So things like your MT3 or your EVODs will not fit on this device. Your tanks will and your Vision Egos will. Vision Egos are fine, but anything that requires the thread on the top, the ego threading, that won't. Unless, of course, you use a 510 to 510 adapter, in which case they will. Let's see. And there you go. Now, I do go on to say in the rest of the VT um, that the weight 
is quite light. Weighs 128 grams with a battery in it. So it's really, really light. Um, as opposed to the Evic without a battery is like 140. Uh, and the uh, SVD is about 129 grams uh, without a battery. So you can imagine it is a really light device. Um, and I've been using it since last week and it's not that bad, I have to say, um, for a cheap mod. Um, what I will say is that I'm not all that convinced on the battery indicator. Um, that seems to me to be a bit out. Uh, and Dave had some concerns about the power outage, uh, power output, I should say. So he'll be looking at that on the haze hour on Thursday. He's going to put the scope on and scope it out. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, now, um, out of time already. So tomorrow night on VT Talk, Dave will be talking about the big EU balloon caper that we've got planned for the 10th of July. Uh, also, um, there's an FDA um, update from uh, the States today. So he'll be talking about the FDA um, decisions and what they've been going on about. Uh, and then of course, Thursday, he's gonna be looking at this in more detail. Dave will be here on Sunday, I think, because he's at the knees meet. Will he be here on Sunday? Hmm. He's at the knees meet on Saturday with uh, most of us. Uh, and of course, the boys are back on Monday with Tin Your Tip. I will be back next Tuesday. And until then, my friends, vape hard. Happy vaping. Peace out. Vaping is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.